Hello everyone, welcome back to the anatomy lab. Today we are going to be taking a look at the leg muscles. And essentially those muscles are going to be all of these muscles surrounding the tibia and the fibula. But just to reorient ourselves really quickly, the entire lower extremity includes two regions. The first, more proximal region is between the thigh and the knee. And then the distal region is, more, is down here between the knee and the ankle. So this is what we are going to be calling the leg. And these muscles, for the most part, are going to be inserting somewhere down here on the foot or the toes to help with either extending, flexing, inverting, or everting, or something of the like regarding all of these toe and foot structures. So these muscles largely are going to help with moving your foot or your toe joints. Now, while we're on the topic of movements and the leg muscles, the leg muscle movements are a little bit a little bit disorienting sometimes. They can be a little bit hard to imagine, but just try to remember what side of the leg they're on and then what side of the toe or foot they'll be attached to. So it's essentially kind of the opposite of what we were talking about with the upper extremity and the forearm and the arm, where in this case, the anterior leg muscles are going to help with pulling up on the toes or foot to help with straightening them out. This group of muscles on the front are going to be the extensors. But the group of muscles on the back of the leg are going to be helping to, or they are going to attach to the bottom of the foot or toes, and they will help with curling or bending or flexing these structures instead. So for the leg, the extensors will be on the anterior side, while the flexors will be on the posterior side. So it's a little bit different from what you're used to, but as long as you try to remember what side they're, uh, or what side of the structures they're attached to, whether it's the top or the bottom of the toes, it should be relatively intuitive. Alrighty, so to get started, let's also remember what bones we have in the leg as well, because we have two bones, and those bones are actually going to be involved in some of the names of these muscles. So you have the large, the large tibia on the medial side, and then you have the smaller fibula, which you can only actually see a small part of it sticking out with the lateral malleolus. So you have the tibia over here on the medial side with the big toe, and then you have the fibula on the side, or on the lateral side with the small toe. So given that this is the tibia, our first muscle over here, right next to it, is going to be called the tibialis anterior. So the tibialis anterior, you can see right next to the tibia, like right next to the front of the tibia even more, it's going to be inserting down here on the side of the foot. Now, if we go to the next muscle, at least proximally, this muscle that is very clearly visible, this is called the extensor digitorum longus. So the extensor digitorum longus, you can see goes down, and then it's going to split out to four different tendons, one that goes to the little toe, and then all the way down to toe number two. So the extensor digitorum will extend out to digits two through five to help with extending those toes. But there is one more muscle that I would like you to look for very carefully, which you can only see a sliver of it right here. So you can see the border of the extensor digitorum longus between the tendons of the extensor digitorum longus and the extent or the tibialis anterior this small muscle in between this is going to have a single tendon that goes only to your big toe so we have a term for the big toe which is the hallux this is called the extensor hallucis longus so extensor hallucis longus this is going to be going to the big toe to help with straightening it out so, so far we have three muscles, but if you look down here, you can see all three tendons at the very least, tibialis anterior, extensor hallucis longus, and then extensor digitorum longus. Now, as we continue to travel laterally, like you can see the little toe right over here, this is where you're going to be on the side of the fibula. And this is where you'll find two more muscles here. These two muscles are the fibularis muscles, luckily. And these two are going to be right on top of each, each other. And these are going to include a brevis and a longus. 
So these are actually going to refer to the tendon length. So keep in mind the fibularis longus will have the long tendon. The fibularis brevis will have the shorter tendon. All right, so to start off with, you may be able to see that you have this long tendon over here on the side of the foot, as well as the side of the leg. This right here is the fibularis longus. So the body of it is more superficial, and its tendon is going to be running along the top of a deeper muscle right underneath. So if you notice that there's a difference in the orientation of the muscle fibers here, this muscle underneath the fibularis longus tendon, this is called the fibularis brevis. So fibularis longus with the long tendon, and then underneath this tendon you can see fibularis brevis. And its tendon is going to start right around here, and you can see that it's not quite as long at the very least, but you can either orient it to be by layers with the fibularis on top, fibularis, or fibularis longus on top, fibularis brevis on the bottom, but also remember the differences in the tendons. Now to move onward to the back of the leg, remember that these are going to be helping with flexion. So these muscles can actually be a little bit complicated, but you do have at least some simple muscles to look for at first. So to start off with, this is the back of the leg. This might look a little bit familiar. This is your calf. And your calf actually includes a few different muscles that all kind of come together to join to your ankle bone or your calcaneus down here at the back of your foot. So to start off with, this one that is going to be the more proximal re or along the more proximal region of the leg, this is called the gastrocnemius. And furthermore, you have two regions of the gastrocnemius, which are its two heads, the lateral head, which is on the side of the little toe, and the medial head, which is on the side of the big toe. Now, deep to the gastrocnemius, you'll find actually two more muscles. And uh, honestly, this doesn't show it the best, but at the very least, we should be able to see it. So let's take this off really quickly. And you can see that there are two muscles here. There is this small muscle right here. This is called the plantaris. And then you have this broad muscle right here. This is called the soleus. So the plantaris is honestly going to be very difficult for it to be shown, but it's this small muscle right underneath the gastrocnemius, and it's kind of sandwiched between these two muscles, the gastrocnemius and the soleus. But this muscle underneath the gastrocnemius, this is the soleus, and furthermore, if you follow the view from the side really quickly, you can see that the soleus actually extends further down. So the soleus is actually going to extend more distally than the gastrocnemius, which stops right around here, mid-calf. So there are three muscles there, so make sure that you look for them. The gastrocnemius, the soleus, and the plantaris. Now, one more muscle before I get to a, another group of muscles that I would like to show you. There is one muscle that is very deep along the along the posterior leg. This right here is called the popliteus. So the popliteus is going to be along just the proximal leg, extending from the popliteal fossa down to the medial side of the tibia, or the lateral, no, the medial side of the tibia. All right, now with that done, let's take a look at a few more muscles which are a little bit more difficult to see. So typically you would have the calf muscle on here. So let's put this on again really quickly. But you will be able to see that you have a deeper group of muscles only, <coughs> which are going to only really be able to see a little bit of when you are looking at it from the outside. So in fact, we actually mostly use their tendons to identify them. And you can see these tendons lined up behind the medial malleolus right here. So big toe, tibia, medial malleolus. The first tendon that you see behind here is belonging to the tibialis posterior. So you had a tibialis anterior, you also have a tibialis posterior. Now, the next tendon that you see here, you can actually see some of this muscle. This is the flexor digitorum longus. 
So the flexor digitorum longus, this is going to be helping to flex digits two through five, and that is going to help you bend them essentially. But you actually can see a large amount of this muscle, which is really the only one out of the three that you can. Now, just to also give you a little bit of orientation to these structures, you have an artery and a nerve here. This is called the posterior tibial artery, the red structure here. The yellow structure is the tibial nerve. But lastly, you find one more muscle here. Do you see that muscle with the white? This is called the flexor hallucis longus. So in order, you have tibialis posterior, flexor digitorum longus, and then you have posterior tibial artery, tibial nerve, and then flexor hallucis longus. And you actually can see some more of this muscle if I remove the calf, but typically you wouldn't be able to do that all the time. So the tibialis posterior is actually going to extend all the way up towards the very center of the leg. This is the tibialis posterior right here. Then you have the next muscle, which is the, the flexor digitorum longus. Then you have your, your artery and your nerve. But lastly, this one that is going to go to the lateral side to your fibula, this is your flexor hallucis longus. And it is actually going to go all the way down along the bottom of the foot to the big toe to help with bending it. Alrighty. So with that said, I think that's about it for today. Thank you for listening. Good luck with your studying, and I'll see you all next time.